Oh boy, this is take four. Greetings from the dank basement. I am Paul Shalbetter, your personal snuff guru, concierge, and sensei. And I am here today. <laughs> That's a lot, of, a lot of titles for an idiot, you know what I mean? Uh, this is the Radford Premium from Perschel. Perschel Tabak of Germany. Oh, you know what we're going to have in here? We're going to have menthol. I know this. Actually, because this is take four, I'm pretty experienced now with this snuff. And I do like it. It is, I believe, a dark brown color. It smells like it is a dark tobacco. It is of medium grind tending towards coarse. Moisture level is medium tending towards dry. Uh, but, you know, partial snuffs are never really dry. They coat the grains with uh, food grade paraffin. And uh, as a result, you know, they never really dry out. Not for years and years. This comes in a chisel shaped tap box. And I think I'm getting something out of it probably just a huge honk and pinch but I don't care because I'm tough all right here we go cheers big ears oh yeah that was a massive bump that was about a pumpkin seed not an apple seed it's weird when I first took this take number one of trying to do this video the menthol in this just about killed me it was like oh menthol Dieter, Gunther, help me. Uh, but now it's just a vague sensation. It's really not confronting me at all. Right away, also, again, this is take number four. So I have quite a lot of this up my snoot right now. And the first thing I smell is chocolate. Now, I know this is not topped with chocolate or cased in chocolate. Uh, I think it's just a natural byproduct of the Burley tobaccos, which I believe to be Brazil tobacco, but I could be mistaken. I tell you what, other reviewers have said that this smells like Andes candy. If you've ever had an Andes candy, that's as in the mountain range, Andes, uh, it is a soft milk chocolate with a lot of peppermint in it. And it's one of those kind of chocolates that it just sort of melts on your tongue into a very thin liquid. It's They're really delicious. And I get the comparison. There is peppermint here over this sort of natural bittersweet chocolate. More sweet than bitter. Uh, wow, my nose is itching. It means I'm going to kiss a fool. Where's the cat? All right. Now, I know from having taken this and quite a lot of it over the last half hour or so, nicotine on a scale where one is nothing and 10 is way too much, this is somewhere between a five and a six, depending on your tolerance. For me, it's about a four and a half, five, which means it's satisfying, but you'd have to use quite a lot of it to replace uh, the nicotine in a strong cigarette. Uh, I love this. I really do. Uh, the menthol will be a little too much for many users. Unless you're a huge menthol fan, you might want to avoid this. But as I said, after taking some of it, once you pass that menthol hurdle, uh, you barely detect the nicotine, and, or, I'm sorry, the, uh, the menthol, uh, but you start getting more of that chocolate mint scent. And it's really, really nice. So on the squinty scale where one is dead, god dang, five is wunderbar. Uh, this is a four and a half. I like this. Now, I can't use this every day just because of the amount of menthol. This does produce quite a bit of throat drip. I call it back drip because I don't just feel it in my throat, I feel it in the back of the roof of my mouth. And there's a lot of throat drip with this. Uh, but it's slightly sour, but it doesn't really sting. 
it will irritate your soft palate after a while, but that's just because of the menthol. Uh, forward drip is fairly profuse, so keep your snot rag handy, uh, as I have. I mean, I'm, I'm not taking any chances. This stuff could start dripping out of the front of my nose at any minute. But I really do like this, and I think it is essential you add this to your snuff arsenal, especially if you like that sort of chocolate mint scent. I think you're really going to like this. The Radford Premium from Perschel of Germany. Hey guys, uh, I posted a video earlier today. It's about a minute and a half long. It's a short video, and it's about an email I received from Mr. Snuff. Now remember, Mr. Snuff is also snuffstore.co.uk, I think maybe even snuff.me.uk and maxnicotine.com. I think they're all David Anderson's businesses. And uh, David sent out an email saying, there's a new strain of COVID. Royal Mail has told retailers not to ship outside of the United Kingdom. Now, they don't give any kind of a timetable, but effective immediately, Mr. Snuff and its affiliated stores will not be shipping outside the United Kingdom. That means if you live in Europe, if you live in Australia, if you live in Canada, if you live in the United States, they probably will not be shipping to you. Now, this does not affect, as far as I know, snuffstore.de or snuffstore.co.de as they're a German company, not affected by uh, Great Britain's Royal Mail rules. I also have not heard anything yet from tokesnuff.com as far as whether or not they will continue to ship to the U.S. All that being said, it may be tough to get any fresh snuff for a little while. So use it if you got it. I hope you have some. Uh, for me, this will be a great chance for me to start sniffing through some of my older tins of snuff and consume some of the snuff that I have bought over the past few years just to do reviews and then have kind of laid aside. So I hope you have a good snuff stash and that you will be able to enjoy nasal snuff while this temporary restriction on mailing outside of the UK is in place. So. Once again, happy holidays if you keep Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope that you don't get syphilis. Have a Happy New Year. And in the meantime, I am Paul, your wicked Uncle Squiddy. Thank you for watching.